uh, we had a, um, a Bible study in our gymnastics team in college. That was interesting. That was fun. Hey, man. <laughs> okay, I'm Robert, and this is my wife, Charlene. And um, we're, the first song we're going to sing is about how Jesus is the sovereign Lord. And uh, I don't know when the disciples exactly recognized who he was. They didn't seem to in the Gospels. but uh, or at the, Maybe it was at the Sea of Galilee when they met Jesus or at the Ascension or at Pentecost. But it, right after that, in Acts chapter 3, they went to the temple and were praising God. And, they, and then they healed a guy that was 40 years old that had been crippled for his whole life and in the Sanhedrin uh, the Sadducees got upset and put him in jail and then they the next morning they asked him to give him why who gave you the authority to do this and they they explained who Jesus was and they said the stone which the builders rejected became the chief cornerstone there's only one name which you can be saved under heaven and then they couldn't say anything because the guy that they had healed was standing right there and then he told them not to go out and speak in the name of Jesus but they did of course and then they went to the disciples and they started a prayer and it says, Sovereign Lord, they said, you made the heaven and earth and the sea and everything in them. And they prayed and the place where they were meeting was shaken. The Lord just was there. And this song is called Sovereign Lord. It's a praise in the Lord. Check one, two, check. You're on. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Praise be to God. This next song is about how when all the turmoil is going all, all around you, you can find rest in the Lord. Only true rest comes from God. And, and in Psalm 62 and 63, it says, find rest in God alone. He alone is my rock. And if we trust in anything else, it's not going to happen. And he's our my salvation and fortress and david wrote this song and you know he was involved in battles with thousands of uh, enemies and and i just can imagine him say, saying this this psalm and, and singing it possibly it's called rest Dark alone 
Hallelujah. There's rest in the Lord. Praise be to God. Amen. Yeah. That was right out of scripture, by the way. Amen. This next song is about, you know, when you're a young Christian, you just, just come to know Jesus. You, you're just eager to go around telling everybody about Jesus. And I did that. And then, and then later on in life, you're, you're like, you know, I really missed a great opportunity to tell that person about Jesus, you know, and, and you go away thinking, man, I missed a golden opportunity. And, and that's our role is to go there for and make disciples of all the nations, you know, and tell them about Jesus. And so this is this song is called Golden Opportunity. I wrote a song about that. I wish that I had spoken of. I don't know how many times I wish that I had shared. I don't know how many times I wish that I had shared. I don't know how many times I wish that I had spoken of. I don't know how many times I wish that I had shared. I don't know how many times I wish that I had spoken of. I don't know how
wish that I had scared. I don't know how many times I wished I hadn't missed that golden opportunity. Golden opportunity. Amen, amen, amen. You definitely don't want to miss the golden opportunity. Hallelujah. I love that song right there. Amen, amen. Well, Brother Robert, is there anything that you would want to share uh, with individuals, maybe in, in avoiding missing that opportunity? Avoid? Of avoiding that opportunity. You know, you talked about uh, you know, you talked about the, the golden opportunity and making sure, you know, that, you know, you're singing about missing the opportunity, the golden opportunity you've had. Like, what would yeah, you recommend yeah, to someone? Yeah, we should always be prepared to give an answer for the hope that is in us, you know, and just be prepared to tell people about Jesus. You know, a lot of times we're a witness just by our, our the fruits of the spirit in our life. And they, they want to know about what's in what's in our life that makes us so joyful, you know, and. And where do you get that peace that passes all comprehension, you know? And um, you might not realize you're being a witness. Like, you can't go around talking about Jesus at work a lot, but, you know, you're a witness by your, the way you, your, the joy in your life and the peace and the love. And that leads right into this next song, actually. Uh, yeah, uh, it's such a miracle that, that, that we got saved, you know, because none of us deserved it. Definitely, it's not based on our righteousness that we received Christ and became saved. So, and it's just a miracle that, that's happened in our own lives, you know, based on just the promises of God that whoever believes in the name of Jesus will be saved. And God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish. Just believing and, and turning to God, that's repenting, return, just turning to God and asking God for forgiveness and um, so anyway, we bear that witness. You know, a lot of the miracles that happened in the Old Testament, you know, they're, you know, like parting the Red Sea, like in the other song, Sovereign and all that. Uh, it's the same God that lives inside of us now. And that, that our role now is to build this church, you know, and, and to love each other. And uh, they'll know we're disciples by our love for each other. And this song is called The uh, Promises and Miracles. And uh, we're the miracles ourselves, so about the joy the joy of the lord is our strength and it says in psalms the guitar in? is the guitar on is the guitar on yes
Thank you. 